Just mere months after ChatGPT went live for the public, a massively more advanced version of it was released. GPT-4 has more capabilities than its older brother and performs the old ones better. It provides more nuanced responses, can cite sources, handle intricate problems, analyze images, and it's generally more creative and less likely to hallucinate. And it only keeps improving. Mid-Journey also had a big boost recently. Compared to its previous version, V5 produces crazily detailed faces and limbs, supports a higher resolution, and produces generally more photorealistic images. Both ChatGPT and MidJourney are known as generative AI models, meaning that they can generate original texts, images, videos, and code from existing content. And as you already know, they have colossal potential in life and work. Here's what generative AI can do for you and how it's already being used in business. Traditionally, such models work using generative adversarial networks, or GANs. In this sophisticated approach, two neural networks are put against each other in a zero-sum game. One neural net, a generator, is trained to create realistic input, while the other network, a discriminator, has to decide whether this input is fake or actually real from the training data. When a generator is finally capable of creating a fake input that can fool a discriminator, a GANS model is considered a success. That's exactly how Midjourney and Jasper Art create such photorealistic images. GANS were introduced back in 2014, and in 2017, a different generative AI model has been invented in Google. These neural networks are called transformers. To put it simply, transformers look at the context around items. For example, words in a sentence, and predict what the next item or word might be. They have what's called an attention mechanism, which allows them to detect intricate connections and dependencies between data elements. One of the models built on transformers is Lambda, or Language Model for Dialogue Applications, developed by Google. It's so convincing at dialogue tasks that in 2022, Google's engineer, Blake Lemoyne, shared with the world that he believed Lambda was sentient. Fascinated with some of AI's responses, Lemoyne was under the impression that the model had a soul and is afraid of death. He was subsequently fired for breaching the confidentiality agreement. All in all, the scientific community is confident that we don't have the technology to produce truly sentient robots, and Lambda is just that good at mimicking human speech. Another prominent example of generative AI using transformers is, of course, Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, or GPT, developed by OpenAI. Until recently, GPT-3 was the most complex model capable of producing human-like speech that could make virtually anyone believe that it was a real person talking. In 2022, OpenAI launched a spin-off, ChatGPT, modified specifically for conversational tasks, which captured the world's attention and gave each of us a tireless assistant to help in personal and business matters. It can craft an evocative email, write a piece of code, create a marketing content plan, help with your research, and do many of the things that we used to perform ourselves just a few months ago. Recently, Google unveiled BARD, a conversational AI originally powered by Lambda with features comparable to those of ChatGPT. Google keeps opening up BARD to more countries and recently moved it to their more advanced model called Palm 2. Most likely, it will soon become another handy tool for those who enjoy ChatGPT's capabilities. So, let's finally talk about where generative AI can bring immense value. First is content creation and marketing. Though marketing itself is a creative and strategic task that you can't fully trust AI to perform for you, there are many smaller tasks within it that can be easily automated. Take content. Crafting social media messages, sales copy, promotional text, and media is extremely important for business recognition and success, but it takes a long time and must be done almost daily. There is special software like Copy.ai and Postello that can create engaging LinkedIn posts, Instagram captions, and YouTube video descriptions from a brief explanation. But you can also use standard ChatGPT features to generate short articles, product descriptions, and other types of content. You can prompt AI to use a specific tone of voice or target a particular audience, too. Whenever you need to accompany your text with images, AI will also come in handy. 
Often, it doesn't make sense to engage a designer or illustrator and spend a whole day crafting a perfect image, especially if you're a small business. You can simply describe what you want to a Jasper Art, Mid Journey, or AI tool in Canva and get quick and cheap results. Depending on how experienced you are with AI prompting, the final image can be used even in ads and promo materials online. You can use AI not only to create original images, but also to edit them, change the background, remove unwanted objects in the photo, or replace them with something else. In Canva, for example, you can brush over the area and type what you want to be added there. The second application is concept art and idea sharing. AI is not sophisticated enough to replace traditional designers and illustrators for high-stakes tasks, but it can help you collaborate with them easier. When commissioning the designer, use generative AI to provide references that speak louder than words. Easily exchange ideas about the mood and aesthetic of the final design, character poses, light, and desired art style to understand each other better and quickly settle on the final design. You can also create storyboards with AI. In video production, storyboarding helps visualize the script and plan how scenes will look like. Although very important, this task is often skipped because of how time-consuming and costly it can be, but it doesn't have to be. Croc.io is a storyboarding tool that recently introduced an AI option. You can upload your text and have storyboards created automatically to help streamline video production. Since storyboards are just sketches that don't make it into the final product, they don't have to be perfect, but can help prepare video content quicker, easier, and with better results. Generative AI can also transform the way you provide customer service. For many years, chatbots, virtual assistants meant to replace real company-to-client interactions, struggled to truly succeed. They were more of a marketing gimmick and weren't able to fully converse with customers or provide any real help. This is finally changing. Now, everybody, whether it's a small startup or a big corporation, can use APIs from Google and OpenAI to integrate the most advanced language models and complement their capabilities. You can train your conversational AI to answer customers' questions, retrieve requested data, offer guidance, or help with any particular pain points. For example, when using a patient portal, a person can ask AI to schedule an appointment with their doctor, remind them to take a medication, or even give treatment information and health tips. At the same time, you can now create plugins for ChatGPT. This will allow users to access information from third-party businesses in the ChatGPT's interface. Now, there are plugins by Expedia and Kayak, which give you travel recommendations, as well as Instacart, where you can leave your order or open table, allowing you to find and book a place to eat out. Such technology isn't meant to replace human contact altogether, but will give people another option to interact with your company, resulting in a competitive advantage and increased customer engagement. One of the biggest areas of applications for generative AI is in software development. In 2022, a code hosting platform, GitHub, launched GitHub Copilot. Built along with OpenAI and trained on publicly available source code, this tool gives developers code suggestions in dozens of programming languages, all while matching the project's context and style conventions. GitHub reported that with the tool's assistance, devs were more productive, finished the task significantly faster, and generally felt more fulfilled and satisfied. A year later, GitHub made Copilot available for business and introduced chat features, thus opening a large variety of capabilities from code rewriting to adding comments. Today, developer success is business success. So by integrating AI into engineering, organizations can help devs put their creative juices into finding solutions to complicated problems. This is especially important in the world where software is getting increasingly complex and the economic environments make businesses experience significant cost pressure. Although the implications of using AI in coding are not fully explored yet, it's clear that it will become a paradigm shift comparable to the adoption of agile methodology. Finally, AI can help you optimize operational tasks. Any number of mundane tasks can be allocated to AI. For example, when you have a big document or research to go through, use AI to summarize it for your convenience. If you're the one preparing the presentation, use generative tools to give you prompts on what to talk about or create images to illustrate your thoughts in slide decks. 
Instead of looking through myriads of stock photos, you can run with your imagination and simply describe what you'd like to see on the screen. If you've run out of ideas for blogs or don't have time to research what content your customers engage with the most, AI can also help. It will provide you with a list of newsletter topics, ideas for marketing campaigns, and if you choose to write your content personally, recommendations on the best way to do it. AI can also edit the text, change the tone of voice, remove redundancy, and help you perfect what's already been written. There are also many applications for AI in HR operations. AI can assist in creating questions for candidate assessments or automate onboarding with AI-enabled internal portals where employees can ask questions. Another example is a skill management platform, TalentGuard, that used OpenAI's GPT model to create Workforce GPT that helps with skills development in organizations. In e-commerce, AI can also be used to create realistic product photography. To make your product catalog more visually appealing, you can create multiple product photos without spending time and money on professional photo shoots. With DreamBooth, you can create images of the product in different environments. Most generative AI tools work text-to-speech only, but this model, published by Google in 2022, can be retrained to incorporate your product and use it when generating images. As you can see, the sky's the limit to how organizations can incorporate generative AI both in strategic and day-to-day -day tasks. And more opportunities will only keep popping up with AI getting more accurate and sophisticated over time. There are, however, a few remaining concerns and challenges. Say, intellectual property issues. Generative AI is trained on masses of publicly available data, including data protected by copyright. For end users, it's virtually impossible to know what section of AI-generated content is under which license. So what happens if the code produced by GitHub Copilot turns out to be copyrighted? Or when the art you've been using in your promo materials is eerily similar to someone else's original art? There are no rules or regulations for using AI-generated data, which means that there will always be risks. The good thing is that you as a business won't likely be the one sued for using copyrighted content, but the company who built the model will. Generative AI isn't always reliable either. It makes mistakes and can provide outwardly wrong results, which may be harmful or damaging to the business's reputation. In any high-stakes scenario, you still need a person to check if the information returned by AI is factual and up-to-date. The lack of trust can also hinder adoption. If you don't understand where the results are coming from, you can't rely on them, and thus, choose not to use AI altogether. But as AI develops and mistakes become rarer, this problem may disappear. Considering these issues, here are some things we can recommend to an organization starting to use generative AI models like GPT, Lambda, Midjourney, and many more. Start by analyzing how the technology shift might disrupt your industry and where it can introduce value. Gather up the team of business leaders, the legal department, and other important practitioners to predict the most popular use cases and think about how you can adapt to changes. Second, work on your generative AI policy. The team must understand when they're welcome to use ChatGPT and when you expect them to perform daily tasks the traditional way. For example, if you create content about healthcare, perhaps you want it to be written by experts or at least reviewed by one before posting it. Also, don't blindly adopt the technology, but try to incorporate it into your company values and culture, as this will keep distinguishing you from competitors, not the mere fact of using AI. And of course, foster trust. Communicate your policy with your stakeholders and customers to make sure they know how and when you're using AI and understand that behind every robot assistant, there are real people who continue bringing value. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. We post a lot about innovative technologies and how they affect business. And if you already adopted generative AI in your operations, please share how this has been working for you in the comments. We'll see you in the next video.